Solving trigonometric equations, worksheet 3 solutions. Well, this is the last one of worksheet 3. 2 cos cube x minus cos x equals to 0. Now here we can factor and then find the solution. So we can factor cos x here. So we get cos x within bracket 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0, right? Now, either of the factors could be 0 to get, give us the solution. So one answer is for cos x equals to 0. The other one is for 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0, right? 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0. Now, for cos x equals to 0, we'll just sketch this graph to remind you the cosine function how it looks like, right? So it's kind of like this. And it has zeros within the period of 0 to 360 degrees or 0 to 2 pi at two places. The answers are these two things, right? The x-intercepts for the function cos x. So these are in degrees. You can write this as x equals to 90 degrees or 270 degrees. For radians, it is pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2. Now, for the second half, 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0, it could be further solved as cos square x equals to half or cos x equals to plus minus. Don't forget to write plus minus whenever you do square root, right? Plus minus half, right? Now that gives us, because cos x is plus and minus, four solutions, one in each quadrant, correct? One in each quadrant, right? So uh, one over square root two is your special triangle, right? With 45 degrees or pi by four, right? So here, this is square root two, the hypotenuse, and that angle is 45 degrees, correct? For those of you who are doing it in radius, it is pi by 4. And that's your right triangle, correct? So 1 over square root 2 is when x is equals to pi by 4, right? And so we have four solutions here. Our solutions are in quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4, correct? So we say x is equal to, let me write down here first, x is equals to, so we're, let's count it in pi by 4s, right? So this is 1 pi by 4, this is 2 pi by 4, this is 3 pi by 4, 4 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, 6 pi by 4, and 7 pi by 4. Do you see how easy it is in radius, right? I know some people are very, very scared of radiance in this pi, but it makes things so simple. Remember Egyptian, they did all this without any calculator. So the answers in radiance are, well, we started with pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, and 7 pi by 4. You have to list all possible solutions in your domain. That's that's very, very important, correct? And if you write it in degrees, then it is 45 degrees, right? This is 45 plus 45 is 90, and then plus 45, 135 degrees, 180, 180 plus 45, 225 degrees and this is 270, 270 plus 45, right? 315. So it is 270 plus 45. So let me write, calculate. 270 plus 45, 315 degrees, correct? 315 degrees, right? So, so the total solutions are set of all these, right? So your answers will include all these. This, this in degrees and these in radians, right? Now, can you write down this answer in a general form? 
Let us say if I say that the domain is real numbers, like for all the functions, periodic functions we normally have, right? Then can you write this answer in general form? That is what you need to do about, right? Think about it and write your answer in general form. So that's an exercise for you, right? Let me give you a hint here. If you have to write pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, the answers will be, see this, this series goes up by odd multiples of pi by 2, correct? So odd multiple could be written as 2n plus 1, right? So, so just to give you an idea here, you could write this, this value of x as 2n plus 1, right? Similarly, these are also multiples of 90 degrees or multiples. This is 1 times 90 degrees. This is 3 times, right? Next will be 5 times. So you get the same multiples 1, 3, 5. Do you understand? So you see that, that the multiple is 2n plus 1. Whenever you do 2n plus 1, you get an odd number. So you get odd number. Here also you are having those odd numbers, right? So you get odd numbers. So your set has 2n plus 1 and in this case it is 2n plus 1 of pi by 2, right? These are one set of possibilities and the other one is 2n plus 1 of pi by 4. Do you see that? So that is kind of series which helps you write answers in general form where what is n? n belongs to set of integers. We can say n belongs to integers, right? So that is how you can write down your solutions in general form where the domain could be all real numbers, okay? I hope you've learned from this set of uh, worksheet three solutions and gained confidence. Now we move on to worksheet four and five now in worksheet 4 I have taken up communication questions and then we will have double angle formulas or the formulas where the angle or it will be cos of not just x it could be cos of 2x, 3x and their multiples. Thank you.